Hello, it's Diane, and I'm back to show you this journal that I made for a customer. I'll do it more quickly than the other one because I already showed everything in this book, and they're very similar. I do want to talk about the spines, though, on these books. As you can see, I, I used the original spine. I didn't have to construct a new spine, but the spine was flimsy because when I removed the book block, then the stability of the spine is removed, so it's just a thin piece of fabric there and I always reinforce with Tyvek and um, it's usually fabric wrapped around when I do a spine but I didn't wrap fabric around because I kept the spine as it was so I did put I did put Tyvek in there but before I did that I cut a piece of sturdy chipboard the width of the spine and glued that in there so it's a good sturdy spine and then there's Tyvek over it and then there's um, the paper decorative paper so it's like that for both journals. So here's the man on the box, and this was for my customer. I love this image, and when I saw this book, I knew this was going to be a scholar, a gentleman and scholars book <clears throat> with Ephemeris Vintage Garden Digital Kit, Gentlemen and Scholars. I put book corners on. This book did have a little crack right here in the spine. Um, but, like I said, it's reinforced with Tyvek, so it's fine, but I covered up the crack with some trim, and then I just put some trim on the back to even it out. Again, it's one and a half inches wide, I believe, and three, um, three signatures. I love this. Um, the kit has peeled paint papers, red peeled paint, so I used this peeled paint scrapbook paper in green because this is what we have here. I used the red peeled paint papers in this book so but this is scrapbook paper which I thought was just awesome to go with this book and then this is from Nick the booksmith so again um, the same Christy art designs and ephemeris vintage garden along with um, well this came out of this book this was the illustration in the book but there is a lot of tsunami rose ephemera <clears throat> and um, images from those 1933 popular mechanics books. She did not want coffee dyeing in her book, so I did a video showing how I colored the plain pages. This one has stencils with spray ink. This is part of the ephemeris, or Tsunami Rose ephemera. playing card and this is curly gray hair and then for to also add color to some of the white pages I decoupage napkin and did a little stenciling there's some stamping here I'm not sure where I got this I can't remember but I cut it out and glued it on there Uh oh. This is a vintage envelope. And this is a piece of uh, ephemera that somebody sent me. It's a copy and it's really distressed. She roughed up the edges and coffee dyed it, and it's really neat looking. She sent me a few of those, and I think this is the first time I've used one. This again is that piece of stamped muslin that was cut in a strip. I use gray papers, two, three different shades of gray here, <clears throat> because the paper it, it's on is black with white lettering. So I didn't want to use off-white because of the white lettering, and I didn't want to use brown so I just used gray. I thought it looked pretty good. And then I put glued a few of these gentlemen in that came out of one of my books about fashion. I had fussy cut them for another project and never used them. A playing card here. And this envelope has the actual card. I don't know if this is the one that belongs in the pocket, but this came with the kit.
Boy, just come up to my craft room and start sneezing. And this, yeah, those are the sprayed ones. There was another page that I did where I rubbed ink. Yeah, no, that's the decoupage. Well, let me see. What's this one? Yeah, this one I just rubbed ink through stencils. This one, I didn't want to cover these gentlemen up with the, um, with the pocket like I did these others. So I just cut this little piece of uh, scrap of Tim Holtz paper and stuck it up here. I stitched it on and then put this little tag inside it. There's a playing card. This one I didn't back with paper because I liked the ads on both sides. So I just stuck it in there. It's another one of those carnival cards. This is decoupage napkin. There's a to-do list with hammers and saws. Oh, this one's sealed shut. I glued glued the envelopes shut and must be didn't wait for them to dry. And this glue seeped out and glued the flat down. You get back in there. Again, this one has um, some stamped images cut out and glued on, and then this fussy cut gentleman. I really did have fun making these journals. It was fun playing with different kinds of images than I normally use. And they're still vintage. This one is um, part of Tsunami Rose. Cut your own hair. This also was in one of those um, popular mechanics books. My friend Julie Mangold sent this to me, so I stuck that in there. There's a tag and a rook card. I love that. This sheet says things to do today. This one too. Guess I need to be more careful. napkin. So there it is. This is the one for my customer. 
Um, I will leave my, my shop below anyway, um, and this is the one that will be listed in the shop. So I hope you enjoyed seeing them. Please leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, and um, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.